First they beat me bloody, then the little goats come to me. Outsiders, sniffing around our valley like hungry little goats. But this is Oshornum land, little goat. Iron Orc land. Do you know how long I've been looking for you? Greetings to you.
dragons in your own homeland. What are you going to do? This one does not know, but he hopes his family is safe in Riverwood. Oh, hello! Have you heard? A Bandari caravan came through and said dragons were spotted in the Khajiiti homeland. This one hopes it is just wild tales told by the Bandari peddlers, hoping to drum up sales of emergency wares. I've never visited an outlaw's refuge myself. I have it on good authority that all manner of ne'er-do-wells frequent such places. Scoundrels, black marketeers, and smugglers of ill repute. Just the sort of company that Margus keeps. Talk to a few more connected rapscallions that conduct business down there. I know a few of them by reputation. Look for Grethal, an information broker. Urzashi, an antiquities black marketeer. And Ashundir, a historic treasure smuggler. Margus originally approached us as a friend and benefactor. I honestly thought he wanted to help return the lost Argonian treasures to their rightful owners. He worked with us for a time, but it wasn't long before he revealed his true colors. Margus wants the antiquities for himself. This competition has taken a violent turn. He has a brutal temper and some skill at spellcasting. Makes me fearful for my associates. Anyway, I think Margus is especially interested in pre-Duskfall relics. Duskfall refers to the slow decline of the great Zoxlil civilization. Ages ago, the Argonians built pyramids called Zonmirs and were much more advanced. Most of our research deals with the more dangerous relics of that period. No, not specifically, but even a hammer can be used for good or ill. Margus seeks one of the pre-Duskfall relics, I'm sure of it. I just need to figure out which one before something terrible occurs. With your help, we can avert a disaster. We're historic investigators. We research and seek out antiquities stolen from the Argonian homeland. When we find them, we return them to Black Marsh. Well, that's the plan. We have a few more items to collect before we make our first journey. Certainly the most important ones. We do need to raise enough gold to finance our operations, though. We'll hold on to a few items to eventually open a museum in Black Marsh, a place where these cultural treasures can be enjoyed by everyone. My sister Fomia became fascinated with Argonian history during her time at the university. When she returned home, her stories intrigued me, and I became interested in the topic as well. I can't wait to join her in Merkmire. As soon as we recover the last of the Argonian antiquities on my list, we'll organize an expedition to that region of Black Marsh. My sister's gone on ahead to set up a base camp and smooth away with the locals. We plan to return most items to their rightful owners. We chose Merkmire, since our research suggests the majority of the items on our list originate. I may be new to the Argonian antiquities trade, but Margus and his cronies know me all too well. They turn me away or stick a dagger in my back before the door closes behind me. I need someone without any ties to Cyrodiil Collections for this. I have other agents that need to be supervised and coordinated.
Nothing like raw fish. Raw and wriggling. Water looks different in every harbor. Love the shallows here. I heard what you did at the Guard Traveller. Oriel, keep you safe. in your own homeland. What are you going to do? This one does not know, but he hopes his family is safe in Riverwood.
That old fool won't find me here. Whatever it is, I didn't do it. Who knows? Naramo, I guess, but not me. I'm only here on Bosek's orders to make sure the elf does his job. I never agreed to dig around in the sand for mad dwarf toys. Be my guest. Go talk to Naramo. I'm sure he'll be delighted to offload more of his task onto someone else. gonna kill me. Mother said this would happen. I can't do anything right. Mother sent me here to kill some big monster, but I don't think I can do it. Well, I hate violence, and I'm kind of forgetful. All I really want to do is make weapons, not hit things with them. But I promised Mother I'd try. Will you help me? You seem to... I had an awful battle with some monsters over this way. Without me, I uh, have to do something over here. Just seeing my father's old sword fills me with courage. I can do this, I think. I was, uh, preparing the bait. The beast won't come out of the water without this. At least, that's what Mother said. Now we lure out the monster and kill it. Easy, right? I sure hope this proves my courage to Mother. Well, here we go. Please stay close. Careful now. Those mud crabs are tough. There it is. Good luck.
Did you see how big that thing was? And those teeth? You found my sword. Thank you. I want to be a warrior and make Mother proud, but I also love smithing. What do you think? Should I become a warrior or a smith? I'm going to give this warrior stuff a try. Maybe I'll see you again, if I survive. I've learned a lot from you, I think. I'll try to be brave from now on. Khan is innocent. Edmund Bosek threw my sweet Jakan into the grave. No, no. The grave is the prison in that cave ahead. Jakan described it as a ghastly place. Traps block the exit, and most criminals roam freely inside. Bosek accused him of stealing a gem, and this orc monster threw him in. Gods know he's rich. He's a prince from Glenumbra. He promised to whisk me away from my family and make me his princess. But now he's going to die in the grave while I'm forced to return home. Dakon said the gate in the cave is never locked because no one ever makes it past the traps. It's beneath the palace, and anyone thrown in dies there. Dakon said the guards are brutal. And the other prisoners are worse. Traps, guards, and other prisoners prevent that. Dukan said there are rows and rows of traps, 
and everyone down there except for Jakan is a vicious murderer. No one's ever gotten out. My poor Jakan. Yes, from Westry. How I longed to travel there with him. He described it as bright, beautiful, and full of life. It's beneath the palace, and any traps, guards, and other disgusting, uncultured, devious. His guards are criminals, and his laws benefit only himself. I pray to Ariel that the sea rises up and swallows this pit, but only after Jakan and I are long gone. Thank you. 